Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back. So I wanted to make a really short video, or a really quick video, because um, I had a little bit of time. I'm sorry for uploading so late today, I was just really, really busy. I'm moving to Canada in a few days, and I'm just kind of getting things ready. So, I have today, I know I said to a lot of people that when I was doing Monster Spotlights that I wouldn't be doing Monster Spotlights, but I kind of um, had someone on my Discord chat, a clan mate of mine, um, tell me that he already raised a light light Gemini to max level. So I'm actually just going to be showcasing this because I've, I've been meaning to test out something for Golems V10 um, using this monster. I wanted to test out a strategy where I basically use a sapper and basic, basically just two light aggressors. You can kind of replace the second Victoria with like a light Coco. It should definitely work because this Victoria is not even doesn't even have her gems maxed out. It's basically just, um, I think she has like triple defense gems at plus 12. And she's only evil 2, so she's not even evil 3. She's only evil 2 plus 1, so she's not even, um, you know, maxed out yet, or or I didn't really raise her yet. But I think she should definitely be able to do Golden Speed 10 or tank, especially when I have 3 light tanks out, as long as my RNG isn't too bad, with the Moonflowers only attacking her. Now, we have here um, Eye Patch 1's, or 1 Eye Patch, my bad. Um, we have his, his Gemini with life set on triple HP. Now these are only plus 12 gems and this one's only a 5 star gem but she already has over 10, almost um, 10k HP and over 3k defense. So this is definitely really really tanky. I think the Gemini is really strong because her base stats are already so good. Like she's definitely one of the best um, monsters like new players can pick up to to do Golems V10. In my opinion I think she's actually better than like an evil 2 water purse. Uh, mainly because you can actually, if you're using her with another light unit, you can actually use her to dual tank because she can she can actually split up, up some of the damage because of how how high her base defense is as well um, as well as her HP. Like she just has really really nice stats. Um, this is only only for B10 of course. So I'm gonna be doing this and then my other two um, Smihos built on full attack. It's kind of my new sapper strategy. You can actually check that that video out where I did a, a few tests. Um, with multiple sapper units, but basically this this Miho is built on full attack. This isn't like a normal. Well, actually, no. One of her slots is, is crit rate. Um, this isn't one of those normal monster spotlight videos. I mainly wanted to test out the strategy more than more than spotlight this monster. But I really got to thank um, iPatch for lending me that this light Gemini. Now I can only do this once because I only have one of these. But we're gonna test it out and see how well it does. Alright, so far so good, I think. Well, I, I was actually pretty fortunate to not get any Moonflowers on the first wave. I kind of would have liked to have like a worst case scenario happen. So I can I can kind of see, um, you know, how it would go if I'm super unlucky. I've never seen them in game before, I never actually used them, but they look super cute. <laughs> They're like... There's two of them, but they're like twice. Dude, they just like tank those Moonflower attacks. And then she's healing back 5% every single turn. And she's not always going to get focused because you have like three light tanks. Now, I think a really good team for people that are starting Golem's B10 this month would be to use the Light Victoria because, you know, obviously everybody has her. Um, unless you fed her. If you fed her, then I... I, um... I don't know. I, I don't really have a solution. Um, <laughs> but... Uh, Everyone gets her for free when you first start the game, and then now with the event for the, the Gemini up, you can basically get her as well. And there's also a Rebirth for the Light Coco, and the Light Coco is also an aggressor, but he's a HP aggressor. Although um, it doesn't work as well, like with passive healer and defense aggressor, it, the combo works really, really well because you're able to basically, um, you know, the, the aggressor will be, like the defense aggressor will be mitigating a lot of damage, and then your your healer will be able to basically like help that help your aggressor recover that damage. Um, so so actually I think that's actually pretty nice, pretty pretty reliable. But you can actually use the light coco because the light coco is also pretty tanky, and he also has those skill books. So you're actually able to get his um, attack pretty high. And basically, as long as you can kill the boss. Um, like, you can out-sustain the boss's damage, or even if you can't out-sustain the boss's damage, as long as you can kill him before your team dies, then you should definitely be fine. That's why I think a sapper is 
somewhat important because a sapper can help you kill the boss a little bit faster. I do also want want to um, like you guys should keep in mind that one of this this Gemini only has a five star gen. This doesn't look too stable right now be, because you know this one's obviously not maxed out, and she's also doesn't have um, have her gems maxed out either. Basically, like a forty something percent difference. Like it, you can actually get her HP to to around um, I think fourteen hundred maybe. Yeah, you can probably get her HP to around like fourteen hundred if you. If you completely max out her gems. Now this this was cutting a little bit close, but I think it's pretty nice for for a test. So I, I just want to kind of spotlight this um, this this light Gemini with like you know running running column speed ten using her um, with like you know aggressor and sapper. I think maybe maybe she needs better gens um, in order for this to, to be stable. I mean, I did at least at the very very least clear it, but it's it was looking a little bit dangerous near the end of that. So you know, I'll I'll, t I'll test some things out. Like maybe um, I can max out my Victoria and then I can borrow um, this this Gemini again once her gems are maxed out. Not 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 for a spotlight video, but just for like a test video and stuff like that. But anyways, that is pretty much it. That's really all I wanted to do in this video. Um, just make a really quick video because I, I had a little bit of time. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.